friends and welcome back to my channel. So the thing is, I wanted to film something but I'm not sure if I'm going to include this in another video, another vlog I might do in the future or if I will one day just put this video up as it is. But hi! <laughs> it's June the 22nd and it's about to be midsummer in Sweden which I'm super excited about. We have finally some lovely weather here in Sweden as well. I'm having a freaking iced coffee right now, who would have thought? And yeah, things are good. And what's making this even better is that I today actually picked up a very, very, very exciting package. Yay! I ordered a couple of candles from Kirsty over at K Beth Bookish. She has her own Etsy shop with like character candles. I have never ordered character candles before. But she had some of my favorite characters, being Twilight characters and a Dark Shade of Magic characters. And she's also a dear booktube friend of mine. So I wanted to support her and order a couple of candles from her so that I could perhaps decorate my shelves. And she asked when she saw that I had placed the order if she could add a few bits to the package because she now had my address and she wanted to send me a few things. I told her it wasn't necessary but that I would greatly appreciate it if she did. And she did, because this is not just a couple of candles, all right? So we're gonna open this together and see what things Kirsty sent me. And of course, I will link her channel and her shop down below. Okay, it's covered at the top, cool. First, we have a little note or a letter. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, okay, this is really sweet. She sent me a bookmark as well to get it with a note and also like an extra candle and a free sample and stuff. So let's just get to it, okay? First, we have some chocolate. I love chocolate. And it's Cadbury Dairy Milk, which is like the English chocolate she wrote, I think, yeah. Awesome, I love me some chocolate. This is perfect, thank you very much, that's really sweet. Let's do the candles first, I think. So she has wrapped three candles here. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we have first the Edward candle that I ordered. If you don't know, Edward from Twilight is my favorite character of all time. He's always described to smell a very certain way which is like lilac, honey, and sunshine. So let's have a whiff. Oh, I don't, I'm nervous because I feel like I can be quite particular about my scents. I like fresh scents or in perfumes, I like warm scents. So I'm, I like fresh and also warm. I've never ordered candle before. I always sniff them before ordering them. Okay, this is what it looks like. White, okay. Ooh. I think that's definitely the lilac, but it goes... I am confused. I think I'm getting a bit of that sunshine now, which is weird. Okay, I like this. I think I really like this. I can't describe this for the life of me, but I feel like at first whiff it was very much like flowery, but then when I continue to sniff it, it turns into something else. That's the Edward scent. Yeah, here we have the next one I ordered. I ordered Kel Maresh, which is a character from A Dark Shade of Magic, my favorite character in that series. And this one is supposed to smell like peony, red roses, and magic. Let's see what magic smells like. This is what it looks like. It's red. I love red. Mmm. Okay, this one I really liked. This one is super fresh. It's not the roses, right? It must be the peony. I liked this one. Okay, cool. That's the Kalmarash one. And then the freebie candle, which she already wrote what it is. Um, but still, it's super exciting because I kind of wanted to get it. <laughs> so it's nice that she sent it. And that's the Bella candle. So now I can have a matching Edward and Bella. <laughs> so Bella smells like sweet strawberry, grapefruit and honeysuckle. Ooh, okay. Like first whiff always surprises me, but then it goes deeper or something i don't know i feel like first it felt very sweet which might be the honeysuckle but then we get 
the fruity bits. Okay, I'm excited to light these. Ah, thank you so much for sending me an extra candle as well. That was really, really sweet of you. I think with every purchase, she is so sweet to actually send a wax melt with your order, basically. So she sends a wax melt. The scent she sent me is called Lehaba, a character from Crescent City. It's apparently salted caramel and ginger. Oh, oh wow. That's definitely like Christmassy. <laughs> Yeah, so here we have it. Le Haba. Oh wow, yeah, that's definitely caramel. Salted caramel, warm ginger, and spicy peppers. Okay, that smells quite nice, actually. Cool, okay, I need to get one of those wax melt thingies. So that was basically my order, but then she added a couple of books. So let's go through those books. We have them here. First, okay. Nothing Burns As Bright As You by Ashley Woodfall. This is a, an advanced reader's copy that she got and she said that she didn't think she would get to. So she thought that I would like it and sent it to me. About queer love, grief and the complexity of female friendship that will keep your heart racing and breaking until the very last page. Two girls, one wild and reckless day. This sounds like something I would enjoy actually. Oh, it's written in verse. I did not expect that. This could be a quick read. That's nice for read -athons. Thank you so much. And I think it's supposed to be released this year. April 2022, it says on the spine. I've never had a physical arc before. So this is pretty cool in itself. Okay, next one. She sent me three books. Very kindly spoiled me. Next up, we have Pet. Oh my God, it looks amazing. It's Pet by Aquayake Messi. I have read this one. I've listened to it as an audiobook. And I think it's so cool. And I really enjoy Aquayake Messi as an author. And I remember when I read this or when I like listened to it, I love the cover of this book as well. And this one is foiled, so it's even prettier. I'm so glad I have this as a physical copy because I think it's such an interesting read, such an interesting author, and I would definitely consider to reread it someday. Thank you, that's so sweet, that's so sweet, I love it. I think the cover is so freaking stunning. Like, look at her, look at her, she's beautiful. Okay, sorry if the angle moved. My phone fell when I was standing up. Last book. The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. I've been meaning to read a book by Christina Henry for a while. Okay, I think Christina Henry writes like retellings of famous stories or something. So this is obviously a Red Riding Hood retelling. It's not safe for anyone alone in the woods, but the woman in the red jacket has no choice. Red doesn't like to think of herself as a killer, but she isn't about to let herself get eaten up just because she is a woman alone in the woods. Okay, first of all, stunning cover. My color scheme, white, red, and black. <laughs> Stunning spine. And I've been meaning to read Christina Henry. So this is also incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. She wrote about this one that The Girl in Red is a Red Riding Hood retelling by one of my all-time favorite authors. Okay, thank you. As I said, I've never read Christina Henry before, but I want to. So this is perfect. But first of all, we have my actual purchase, my order, which are these character-themed candles. I then received three very cool books. So we have the books, we have three candles, we have a wax melt, we have chocolate, and then a very sweet note and a bookmark. Thank you so much. This was so exciting. I've been so excited about this package, mainly because of the candles, because that was what I ordered. But it's so sweet of you to actually send me other things as well. Like, come on. you. Definitely no need to do that. Please check out Kirsty's channel and her Etsy shop and support her. She really, really deserves it. She's great. Check her out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I guess this turned out to be an entire video because this this is a pretty long clip, actually. Let's call this a gifted book call and bookish candle haul. I don't know what to call it. We'll solve that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please take care and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about one